Hey guys, Eric here back out at the Bethlehem Golf Club. Want to let you know what you're about to see in this video. This video is called the best follow through for senior golfers. Now this is one video out of a master class we put together specifically for senior golfers. You guys gave us a lot of really good feedback about the senior video we did and we wanted to do a complete training series just for senior golfers. That's what we did here with this master class. This is one of those videos. I hope you enjoy it. You'll see a couple more throughout the week, but if you do want to see the entire master class, we'll put the link in the description down below with all the details. Now let's talk about the impact and follow through positions and, and more specifically the follow through positions that we're looking for in our swing model. Now, based on some of the things we've discussed, right? Getting the turn going back, the depth coming in, getting the club head working more inside, that does preset some of what we're gonna do moving forward. Our model is big turn back, big depth back keep the depth when we start coming down, we said we're not that worried about the rotation. Now, why do I bring that up again? Because it's gonna affect what I do on the way through because we're not gonna be worried as much about getting rotated. And listen, if you can go back and turn a lot and turn through more, go ahead and do it. I'm not saying don't do it. What I'm saying is if we're gonna lose some of this, if we have to lose one side, and what we must make sure we do is get back good. Now, if you can do both, cool, but since we're more looking to get a big turn on the way back, and if we're not gonna turn as much on the way through, it's gonna impact our follow through and our exit. Specifically, if we're trying to get the club head deep with the face tilted down, deep with the face tilted down, we're gonna have that club head exiting more to the right as is. And also if we don't rotate as much, it's also gonna exit to the right, okay? So the more you, if your typical pattern is a straight or fade shot, the more this would apply to you. You have a lot of room to exaggerate and let this club exit more to the right. If you are ready hitting pushes and hooks, then maybe this part, I wouldn't exaggerate as much. I would get the club to work more around. So certainly it depends a little bit, but our stock model is gonna be letting that club head work a little bit more to the right. And that's the first thing that I wanna focus on. There's really two parts to the follow through. Number one, club, right, shaft, club head, and all of that exiting more to the right. If we have our clock system again, and this is a 12 o'clock number, it's probably exiting probably one to two o'clock to the right. But for some of you, that may feel like it's going way, almost two, three o'clock over here, way inside out. So I have my alignment rod and my noodle set up. And what we have is another feedback station that's just the opposite of what we did coming back. If you can sort of visualize, I want you to have the club working in, hands in, club head neutral, hands in, inside, to the ball, and then to the right. And so we can have the noodle behind us, we could also have the noodle in front of us. And it's set up very similar on the way down. What I want to avoid is when we come through, us having an excessively left club path, okay? That's gonna be us swinging too far left, is gonna be those fade shots, weak shots, lack of distance, body moving forward. I want us to learn how to extend and go to the right for speed purposes. So the noodle, if I take my normal setup, same thing, I have it roughly three quarters of the way down the shaft, not so close, I hit it with my hands, not so far away I'd miss it. And I kinda do the same thing, I put the club along my toe line and I give myself a few inches there. So that's about the angle. You can put it a little more inside and just change the angle of the noodle. But if you put the club on your toe line, parallel to the ground, I have a few inches there. And it's meant really just to be a guideline, okay? So what I'm gonna do is basically the same thing as I did with the noodle behind me. I'm gonna hit some shots. Always when I hit these shots in reality, we'll talk about in practice, short and slow and exaggerated with feedback. So for now, I'm gonna hit shots at my target, really focusing still on a good setup, good depth face tilted down, coming from the inside, but now I'm also gonna focus on swinging to the right. And that's the first part of the follow through is just the club direction. So let's go ahead and demonstrate one of those now. And we're gonna talk a little bit of body motion in a second. So good strong grip, aimed a little right, right foot flare, ball back. Deep with the hands face down, deep all the way up. Deep here face down to the right. So let's go ahead and hit one here. It's a little, just to feel it. Good. 
And so that one I hit a little bit behind what I'm working through, and that's okay in the beginning. I'm just trying to get a feel for what I'm trying to do here and exaggerate, not as worried about the contact yet. So my goal would be, hey, did I miss that noodle on the way through, yes or no? And did I get good depth from the inside? And the answer there was yes. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate one more here, get myself a decent lie, and the same sort of piece. So good solid setup position, feet aimed to the right, right foot flare, hands forward, club face square. I'm going deep with the hands, face tilted down, deep here, and more out to the right. I'll go ahead and feel that same thing. Good, and that was better contact for me on the way through. Building in the same thing, a straight to a little bit of a draw pattern. And that's the direction we want the club head working, more in from out. Now there's two pieces with how your body work that are relevant to match with this club direction. So in the next video, I wanna talk about, hey, in our follow through, here's how the club works, but these are the body pieces I wanna put in to match that club and to get as much speed and distance as we can relative to our normal club speed. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to learn more about our Golf Swing for Seniors Masterclass, the link will be in the description down below. Would love for you guys to see that entire product. Also, if you like this video, please do us a favor, click the like button down below. Click the notification bell. Also, please subscribe. Thank you guys.